Hey everyone, Zoe is here. I'm hoping, hoping that this series will now work properly. I'm using my headphones, so I hope that um, when I record now there won't be an echo like it wasn't on my tonight. So, welcome to Stray Gods. We're gonna do another Let's Play, but of a blue uh, walkthrough. Which means I'll get all the blue choices and maybe we'll do some red choices here. Uh, blue is basically um, the smart gray, so that will be the choices here. So we're gonna start on you. Uh, the thing is that I'm getting a, a trophy here, well an achievement, it's on Steam, so I'm gonna be doing no, uh, no love interest at all. Yeah, we're gonna start with you. It's time. Act one. I'm almost done with all hours. the achievements, so I'm looking forward to get this one as well. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma, and where did it get us? Other than bored? <laughs> the band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there. If they'd show up. Oh, okay. No, well, they showed up all right. <laughs> you know, I had a Pretty. dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning. Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this went better. <laughs> In your dream, was the stage on fire? Because otherwise, I find that hard to believe. Whoa, can we do that for our next gig? <laughs> we are not setting the stage on fire, Brian. Please stop asking. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. You should try. Um, Crashing on this couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. These two appear at the start of the game, but they heard yourself vanish for the rest of it. <laughs> oh. Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose hands since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> Pretty awesome. As I said, uh, we're not doing a love interest here, but we will do one in the red uh, walkthrough, and I may do another green one for a full, full, uh, full, pure green run. Huh? I appreciate the effort, Freddie. I really do, but but it didn't work all that well, huh? It's it's just a sobering dose of reality, you know. What if it never gets easier? What if I never figure this out? No. <sighs> you will, Grace. You're too hard on yourself. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. All of this was your idea. I just... I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. Ready or us? Like she's okay. really trying. I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. Fair enough. Oh. Freddy's really worrying about her. Like a boat, lost at sea. Love this song. I love all the songs here. Drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. She's very good. Is the world too much, or is it just me? Everything I set upon unravels at my feet. Everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free. Like a boat lost at 
Here we go. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Hi, B. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I just, I heard you from outside. My name's Calliope. You, you have an amazing oh, voice. There's a fly in here. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Of course she is. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Awesome. Let's okay. hear it. Did you, uh, bring an instrument, or some music? I kind of bring my music wherever I go. That makes sense, you're Calliope. <laughs> Alright. Don't well, think Grace caught on to it yet. <laughs> With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue. Free from all the promises, too many dreams unsung. All the steps I didn't take. And past proved untrue. Is there any after me? Like a boat. I wish you could sing it properly. <laughs> I love this song. It's not a hard one. You still have your life ahead. I am drifting cold water. No star to be seen. All things that lose their way can find it again. There is no inertia in the ocean. Not that I have any idea what inertia means, but okay. Liver. Sometimes you need to think your way out of a problem, right? This guy's sneakier, smarter, and witty. We're going for it. You are right, Calliope. There's always a breeze. But if I build a sail, can I trust the wind to guide me? Of course. Wow. What was that? Your song was just so wonderful. I had to finish it with you. I hope that's all right. Of course I also it is. know what it feels like to be lost. To feel as if you have no place to turn. That's why I had to come inside. Calliope is relatable. Grace, too. You didn't come here for the audition, did you? You didn't even know about it. <laughs> Caught and called out. I, I was nearby and your song called to me. I just... I didn't want you to think I was deranged or something. <laughs> Weirder things have happened, I guess. May I ask you why you feel so... adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is just beginning let's be honest with her it would sound stupid hmm. try me well I left school because i didn't feel like i belonged there but i still haven't found my place what am i supposed to do where am i supposed to go shouldn't i have figured this out by now good questions i mean the exact Those same uh, as spot is great i'm still looking for myself uh, in my personal life, so I didn't really get how she feels in this regard. We all get to this and point where we're I'm looking what we want to do for the rest of our I lives really and come to join the all band, of that, so. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. That's why Grace is relatable to me. Right. See you then. 
I'm about to turn 26, so for me it's like, uh, I'm looking for myself, looking what job I want to have for the rest of my life, uh, if I want family, so there's a lot of questions, so. Relatable. <laughs> Very relatable. Oh, that noise scared me. I'm with a headset, so I hear them clearly now. <laughs> Sup, Freddy? Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... Oh. Calliope? I didn't know where else to... oh, I'm so sorry, Grace. Oh, no. did this it, it doesn't matter now she knows grace would not understand to you I, not like this i'm so so sorry mm. what do you mean hey calliope rest in peace calliope please please come on it doesn't get easier every time i play this and see this because Calliope didn't deserve that. What? What is that? You're on your life. I love the earrings she has and all the piercing and everything. But it's not the time for that, I'm sorry. Hello, 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 oh, um, Hermes. I can wait. Take your time. I. Who are... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or. Yeah, it's door, their maybe? door. I am. Um, I came as soon as I could. Hey, yeah, Hermes. Love their character. I think she's dead. We need help. You need to call someone. Or... Well, I'm someone. I got called. Happens every time one of us dies, you know? Hmm. <sighs> she really is dead, huh? Man. So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. It sucks, but, you know. Now, oh, if you had the key guess one. I, I don't understand. None of this makes any sense. She's dead, and I... I, I don't... I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? Mm -hmm. That was her soul. That's what made her a god. Oh. A what? <laughs> a I'll what? You now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Perfect! <laughs> cool. Let's go. Oh. But this is where we end this episode. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, I promise they won't be that short. I just want to test it out and see if the sound is better and everything. So again, thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment because you know we want to make my day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.